Hello, you are listening to Sri Export, and I am your host Sri Nivas. In this podcast, I will be in conversation with my friends on diverse topics. I aspire to learn something new and share the knowledge with you all. I hope you will like it. Today we are joined by two of my college friends, Mohan and Manikanta. Mohan does digital art and Manikanta does traditional charcoal and graphite art. I will leave their Instagram page IDs in the description below. Please do check out. Hello guys. Hi. Hi Shri. Hi. Nice to be here. How are you guys? Oh, I'm fine. I'm doing good bro. Thanks. I hope you're doing the same. Yeah, 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 I yeah, hope yeah. everyone is doing the same. Mm. There's nothing mm. going in the mind. We've been locked mm. down, like in the lockdown and out of the lockdown in the house for about like one and a half year. It's painful, yeah, yeah, yeah. though it's safe. Last good thing I remember was our annual day, I guess. Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, last thing. That was the last True. day. Yeah. 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 Each and every one of you that and was this. like the best annual day you can ever get from the college you know <laughs> and the last <laughs> and the last two yeah no seriously. matter no matter no matter how shitty it was but it was the last some big festival for us yeah it was memorable and... because nothing happened after that and yeah. yeah that was the only thing i can remember like out of the yeah. home <laughs> yeah exactly. i i came i came to college on traditional day but not on annual day yeah yeah, oh I remember God. traditional day. Traditional day was also uh, really good. Traditional day was re- like, it was the best traditional day out of the four years for me. Mm. Uh, things were memorable. Yep. Why Nothing did you was, meet somebody? Was no like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. I will talk about it later. But uh, right now, uh, let us start with Mohan. Bro, uh, can you explain your art? style to me okay so i don't stick to one art style i mean okay. i constantly keep exploring new things or experimenting new things hmm. uh, uh, actually you know people say that you should stick to one art style so that uh, in instagram if we take an ex- example uh, yeah. to reach more people you hmm. need to be consistent on what True. you're posting but uh, i'm not that <laughs> consistent so you can see i'm stuck at 100 people in followers but yeah i don't uh, want to stick to one uh, genre or art style i want okay. to explore many things hmm. yeah so you do digital art as i can see from your uh, instagram page yes so so you majorly do that kind of art in digital art also there are many styles okay, okay. the fl- flat based illustrations Huh. Uh, in which you can see your patterns and the gradients but okay. no blending no smooth okay. edges everything will be hard edges and okay. some cartoony style digital arts some hmm. anime style digital arts hmm. and also some realistic uh, i stick to not uh, to near to realistic ones near to realistic okay uh, near to realistic ones not exactly realistic ones and there are other things also like similar to our traditional drawing sketching directly on the digital yeah. itself and they use on only digital pencils. you can do sketching yes only pencils are like the, the how you know you can see the dp of manikanta right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. You, uh, same thing in the digital also okay okay and uh, coming to manikanta now uh, bro explain your art style to me hmm. my style is not actually a style it's what i do i okay. am a traditional artist traditional in hmm. the sense i you know uh, use the non digital stuff as we all hmm. know it's all pencils pastels brushes powders everything material okay my major is charcoal hmm. yeah i found this medium very very interesting and very very you know headache hmm. to this th- okay. this stuff is very sensitive and hmm. Like people say that charcoal, you know, this thing has come out recently. It was not in the way back then. Like, mm. There's something kind of that. But charcoal is like one of the most ancient form of, uh, you know, mediums, form of art. Mm. And, you know, it has very 
own important place in the art platform true true everything i do I... is like uh, you know on the paper or canvas or anything hmm and i've been you know uh, getting into watercolors recently okay. even graphite okay. is my favorite uh, but charcoal okay. comes first nice nice and uh, how did you get into it i mean when did you realize that you love drawing sketching okay like yeah this question is like one of my favorite questions i guess it's when i was in first grade i guess first grade or so yeah first grade maybe hmm i just you know draw ganapatis and festival stuff yeah festivals yeah, yeah seasonal festival stuff if it's mm-hmm. diwali mm-hmm. i do diwali drawings like drawing crackers drawing ravana <laughs> drawing you know these and that i was never mm-hmm. particularly serious about getting into art since the beginning mm-hmm. uh mm-hmm. it just happened to me like that Okay. but hmm. this thing became one of my addictions not one of my a major addiction uh hmm. when i started you know drawing with charcoal after nice. charcoal the stuff's different you know i just you know even yeah. if i see any art stuff in any hmm. mart or in any supply store hmm. i won't leave that store without buying something or the other in that art supply <laughs> store yeah this is one like okay. this was you know very hectic i know okay and it's a very bad habit <laughs> okay and uh, mohan i mean you started doing digital recently i suppose because you know technology wasn't that great when we were kids and we weren't uh, you know given tablets and laptops uh, as kids so uh, when did you like how did this journey start uh, when did you realize that you like drawing or sketching and later in the future when did you start doing digital art so as long as i can remember i was drawing hmm. you know hmm. since i was a child i mean okay. my father was an artist so i guess those genes you know, came into me nice so nice. Uh, i've been drawing since childhood you won't okay. believe you, you just said right uh, we have technology <laughs> that to do digital yeah. arts but yeah. i remember when i was in 7th class i hmm. did lord ganesha drawing in ms paint <laughs> can you believe wow <laughs> yo ms paint in, a, in ms paint that's that was the first encounter with digital yes. art okay 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 yeah that was very difficult for me you know even though i had laptop at home but i couldn't draw anything on the the paint software yes mm. that mouse is not you know it's not meant for drawing stuff yeah 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 I didn't even have the mouse. I used to draw Tra- it. <laughs> trackpad, okay. Yeah, trackpad. Yeah. So after that, I think the late inters, I think inter second year, B Tech first year, I started drawing on my phone. Okay. I'm uh, I I'm not sure, but I think money was the one who introduced me that uh, app, yeah. Adobe Design or something. Pro. Yeah. So after that, I tried to explore different other options. Hmm. Like, you know, what are all the apps we have? then hmm. i got to know about autodesk sketchbook pro and okay. and I, uh, that was you know, kind of life changing <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah since then i'm using sketchbook only so you so, used to do pencil art also in yes the yes i come from traditional background no? traditional art background so i used to draw on no? papers and all when did i stop the i think yeah when i started drawing on digital okay it was you know, easy efficient okay. compared to the traditional drawing hmm. uh, as i had less time hmm. so it made more sense true true good yeah. and uh, do you not find pencil drawing interesting anymore no no it's not like that i do traditional okay. drawing today hmm. also but i don't post hmm. them anywhere they are okay. they are just okay. for learning hmm. just yeah even though you are doing any digital art you always have to start with to portray that idea on the digital platform you need to start with paper and pencil i suppose yeah, i mean uh, when i was using my phone to draw hmm. i used to first sketch on the rough paper so that i can hmm. get an idea uh, hmm. uh, right now like from 2020 hmm. i guess i bought the graphic tablet okay. Okay. so in graphic tablet you have a pen 
so yeah, basically a mouse yeah mouse on steroids yeah. <laughs> okay yeah so you can directly you know draw anything on that so it's nice. similar to nice. what you draw on sc- uh, normal paper and stuff yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. like uh, even and, i and was you know i was into that huh. stuff okay what stopped you from not going into digital art it's not like something stopped but mm. uh, what happened is i was trying you know deep into the conventional art or the traditional art mm. uh, i was very deep into this art that i didn't have any space for that in my mind that is what happened okay. uh, mm. it's not something like i do not respect it or i left it but mm. i just did not try it that's it mm. uh, and one more thing what i felt was uh drawing on a digital platform like on a digital surface or uh, using digital technology it look mm. very easy you know they can there can be a lot many possibilities everybody can yeah, yeah, buy yeah. oils <laughs> canvases and very expensive art stuff yeah yeah i was going to ask you about that you know even though on digital platform there yeah. are legion of possibilities of you know you can do so much on digital pro- platform but it comes very easily and it is cheap compared to the traditional conventional art form because the oil paints the brushes the uh, canvases and so man so much more it is very expensive uh, why do you think it is like that it's simple uh there are not many artists as the normal people in the whole world and also there are not many people that use art supplies for their regular usage and mm. what is more uh, important is that these art supplies are high quality ones also the manufacturers are you know all uh, the manufacturers are very scarce so they are very little uh, mm-hmm. the one which are right now are very huge like take faber castell uh, take mm. derwent generals stegler all yeah. these brands yeah. are very big brands in compared to other brands like generally we buy natraj pencils apsara pencils doms etc mm. mm. even faber castell but there are grades you know you never write with a german made faber castell pencil on a paper okay yeah that pencil is like 55 rupees each and what we buy is like more or less 3 to 4 rupees a normal pencil yeah 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 the difference is that the quality you know the graphite in that pencil is highest quality one okay okay like this in all the stuff the quality differs mm. so that so the cost is and uh, mohan what are the tools that you use to do your sketches so coming to software i use mm. autodesk sketchbook pro and there's an in ipad there's this app called procreate mm. it's just love mm. another <laughs> definition you know <laughs> so good it's a so good app but it's mm. only for ipad Yeah, okay. iPads and iPhones, exclusive not even for one. Mac. Yeah, exclusive yeah. one. But I got a similar app, similar, I mean, eighty to ninety percent similar app like Procreate for Android, which is Infinite okay. Painter. Okay. So that's available on Android and, uh, but not yeah. for uh, desktops, only tablets okay. and smartphones. But yeah. it's really close to the Procreate than any other app. Yeah. The br- brush engine is so good. Okay. And. Uh, you can't import psd files but you can export psd files that's the only defect i mm. seen okay uh, yeah infinite painter mm. coming yeah, to yeah. hardware mm. i use this uh, huon graphic tablet it's the entry level one for mm. those people who want to try out hlr stuff and all yeah so and what are the costs of each and every device that you use like uh, software is free and the graphic tablet is around 3700 You can just buy this tablet and connect it to our phone or any laptop, and we can mm. start drawing. Mm. Okay. So you won't call yourself professional artist. Probably you are amateurs that love doing this kind of art. So do you think you are gifted? And uh, since you are doing something else in your life, so do you think you guys are gifted with this art, or you have earned it on your own? 
gifted i get this a lot mm. uh, when i draw stuff around people like people ask me this a lot oh this guy mm. is gifted that is why he is able to do that's you know such stuff mm. what can you and i do because it's just a gift you know people get into this dilemma that things are gifted mm. maybe they come with the dna that is different it's not a gift but you know it's something that is inherited hmm even then you know the son of picasso or the daughter of picasso did not be- become junior picasso you cannot find any of the pic- paintings or any stuff uh, by them simply said you just have to earn it it's true, not true. god gifted or something like gifted Mm-hmm. even i had so, to struggle a lot to get mm-hmm. to this level of which by uh, of which i'm in yeah and what is is you know there is a lot of practice there's a lot of patience mm-hmm. there's a lot of behind the you know behind the scenes work going on mm-hmm. before mm-hmm. doing a particular piece mm-hmm. yeah yeah i yeah. agree with you and uh, i also believe that when people say that somebody is gifted perhaps they are gifted at certain point you know uh, probably 10% or 20% of their talent comes mm. inherently yeah. but rest of the uh, talent is just their practice and you know their uh, perseverance throughout their yeah career yeah. so i believe whenever somebody says that it's just a gifted person they are downplaying the hard work you know i think they are not uh, recognizing the hard work done by the artist to come reach at this level you know as kids we all started drawing things painting mm. stuff yeah in your class there was one kid who used to draw the best who used to paint the best and yeah. in my class till 7th i suppose i was that person you know i used to draw uh, as a kid i had a birthday party where my mom surprised me with all the sketches that i drew she posted every uh, sketch that i did from my uh, childhood on the wall and you know i went through those drawings and i was like bro i was good yeah you know, what happened to me right and everybody in their childhood they were good at some point but people who do hard work and try to learn new things they do practice and they become masters of that art but rest of us who were just good at it and who did it just as fun but later left it will not grow as the other people so probably everybody start as gifted when they are kids but when they reach at a certain level it's not gifted anymore it's their hard work talking yes totally you know i wanted to ask you this you know if you have to learn <laughs> sketching how do you start it i am going to ask it to mohan first so okay. mohan uh, tell me if you want to learn digital art so how do you start learning it like what should be the process well first you should start with traditional art <laughs> you mm. should start sketching basic shapes on papers you know mm. you can divide anything in the world into basic shapes okay. when you do that you simplify things when mm. you simplify things it's easier to understand okay. when you understand it correctly you can re- replicate it correctly you see that's how it happens you should first start drawing in you know, sim- simple simple things and mm-hmm. then trying it on digital medium so uh, manikanta what do you suggest first you know this thing this thing called patience hmm some guys you know they leave drawing because they couldn't have enough patience to get to that place where you know like pros are or somebody is everybody mm-hmm. takes up our art as a level where it needs to be reached even i take it sometimes but mm-hmm. not every time mm-hmm. uh, what we do is we compare okay yeah uh to learn the basics first we need to you know just get into the flow mm-hmm. going with the flow is the best way to explore is the best way to know at which part you are perfect like okay at which point you are good 
you will know that hmm. okay and like hmm. that you can find the art which is best suitable for you okay. if you are Fine. going you know like a study if it's a study hmm. then that's a very different thing that's, and why that's is that no i mean i mean i wanted to ask you that also yeah do you need a degree to perfect an art um degree to perfect an art this question is you know again a two question question hmm yeah going yeah, doing a degree is very different from you know pursuing art as profession okay uh, somebody can do a degree in arts and not hmm. choose it as their profession this hmm is mm. we all always see and there are many artists who did not even you know get a degree but they are professionally an artist without the degree okay of course mm. uh yeah. the academic arts is what they call this art you know these artists mm. are academic artists they have mm. degrees you know some have phd's too they are like mm. masters uh mm. in india it's not famous because you know we have our own mentalities mm. uh but you know abroad in the other countries mm. art is treated as equally as important as other subjects <laughs> you know many people ask me to you know start a tutorial or record a screen hmm. and publish it to youtube and all but as i said as you said earlier we are not professional artists i have hmm. another profession which i have to take care of from monday to friday <laughs> <laughs> yeah i do digital arts only on saturday and sunday and that too when i don't have an art block <laughs> yeah so, so when i said yeah. when i said you guys are amateurs you know correct i was right <laughs> yeah so yeah <laughs> me, i'm still learning you know okay. I, i think myself as i'm still as a beginner so okay. i don't think i can teach hmm. other people right now but uh, not not from teaching perspective what about learning perspective why don't you think of joining any course or uh, uh, pursuing any degree in digital art yeah i mean we don't have to join a course like there's a lot of stuff on the internet and the youtube you know okay. the hmm. 30 minutes videos or 40 minutes videos on uh, on a separate separate topics on individual topics hmm so you don't have to you know enroll into a course and uh, there are a lot of content on instagram too there are a lot of other artists you mm. can follow them and you can learn from their art styles and their mm. you know, individual pieces yeah and yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah and suppose if you are trying to you know, be a professional artist you want to enter this hmm then you should pick up a, a suitable course right now i am not looking into that because okay. i already have a self sufficient job so you are where are you working currently yeah so i am a software developer at uh, physical 24 okay. it's a startup and mm. located at uh, gachiboli mm. and the ceo is from us are you satisfied with it you know are you happy doing that job yeah i mean i love coding man <laughs> okay you love coding yeah. as well yeah, yeah i love art and i love coding but okay. art is something i do it for myself and coding mm. is i do it for others you know you get okay. that thing right i'm coding for them i'm not coding for myself okay yeah but i don't i don't want to draw for others that's the thing okay. it's there since a long time so yeah. you so don't just nobody don't ask you... mohan to draw you know yeah. <laughs> they do they do you know <laughs> and, do. Okay. Uh, and i can't you know directly say no because i'm a kind of shy guy yeah. okay. and uh, yeah okay. so okay. yeah <laughs> what if you want to financially support yourself through art will you draw it for others then yeah if you are saying you know it ha- you have to i mean if i mm. have to then there's no choice for me i have to you know uh, better my skills mm. there was a point you know when i started thinking i should mm. uh, start uh, like looking into other options with art like selling okay. stuff or um, doing freelance art mm. Mm, but yeah the thing is here i don't get much time no from monday to friday it's uh, 12 to 9 uh, recently mm. my times are changed again so it's again 10 to 7 and then after that i stick to anime <laughs> <laughs> yeah i don't get energy for you no know, thinking about uh, drawing or any stuff you know i have to get ideas for that yeah so uh, money which art sells more and which art is you know which can earn more money digital versus 
conventional art okay like i'll take a minute to answer the previous question not the okay. previous one but the previous previous one which was asked to me like where, uh, do i need to get a degree to perfect okay. an art yeah you want to talk about it huh? yeah okay i missed a point there uh, you hmm. you <laughs> just don't need a degree to do art and art stuff at all that is the answer that i did not <laughs> tell you hmm. uh, yeah and coming to the question right now which one sells the best Most. like which is hmm. the best fruit is it the conventional art or the digital art then my answer would be right now it's the digital art digital art yes. is something like you know this thing is available to everybody hmm. it's global like every art is global but digital art surfaces globally a lot on the very social media or the sns you okay. can see a lot of digital art going right now true true yeah there is quantity yeah i know that yeah there but, is quantity uh, yeah okay okay uh, compared to that. conventional art there is quantity but uh, how about if we compare one digital art with another conventional art and then we are uh, selling them so yeah. what do you think which will sell uh, the highest uh, obviously it's conventional art mm-hmm. because conventional art holds history with it you know it comes through history it holds the history and it also will take the history with it in the future where the digital art you know it is not up to that thing right now maybe in the future it will be because of the current nfts and stuff going on mm. around in the world hmm maybe but right now okay. it's the conventional art that makes more True. money and very recently you know uh, the picasso's a lady staring mm. at the window this painting at mm. the auction house went for like 1 or 3.4 or so million dollars like wow i was blown away seeing that painting you know <laughs> <laughs> and i wondered why is that you know so valued it's like expensive yeah. yeah why is it valued that much i was like shocked i had that doubt in my mind you know ki why do these art sell for so uh, high prices one answer that i could come up with myself was that probably since there is no margin for error and probably <laughs> there is no uh, you know chance of correction Hmm. you know how you can just you know uh, change the color in the digital art yeah. change lighting or something there is uh, no, nothing like that in the conventional uh, drawings and paintings so i think that values more that mm-hmm. adds into the value a lot and that is why we can see that there are these uh, uh, old paintings selling selling for millions of dollars and uh, and i also had a doubt that some other paintings okay a few i can understand that they look beautiful and, and all but some other paintings i don't understand only paintings should not be that difficult to understand i mean why is that bro ki such you can put it uh, as ridiculous <laughs> exactly yeah, rid- yeah some ridiculous paintings going for millions of dollars i mean what is happening in this world uh, mm-hmm. you said that due to the non changeable factor that mm-hmm. a particular color or a particular stroke hmm. that cannot be changeable in a conventional painting versus hmm. that you know everything can be changed or everything yeah. can be redone digitally hmm. conventional art holds the history as well as like like when i said history the colors hmm. and some of the strokes or some of the instruments which were used back then you know hmm. you, like the instrument itself will auction at a very high price today okay and when it comes to the painting and the work done then with those instruments you know mm. gets sold at a very very high price compared to those tools okay. what happened is you know some colors were not even introduced at that time some of them were you know derived naturally from the nature because there was no chemical there was no artificial color back then everything mm. were derived you know from the yeah, different yeah, pigments yeah. which are available in the nature yeah yeah and the second question like 
we know very little artists you know the names and everything we know very few of them because they are really very few of them every picture you know everything that sold very high was made of bronze or on canvas okay. these two materials you know they hold the highest value it may be due to the you know ideas or ideology of the people in that time or something uh, and... there are something called lithographs you know lithographs and... are something that are made before uh, drawing the actual picture it's like something hmm. uh, like a plan when an art when hmm. an artist you know plans something to draw he beforehand draws something on the paper hmm. even picasso okay. did that with many many drawings even the last one and lithographs are way cheaper than the original painting itself you can even buy hmm. yourself a lithograph of you know picasso which was you know hand made hand made by him wow the reason it is cheap it's that because you know it was drawn mm. on a cheaper paper using cheaper materials you know presentation was also cheap i mean cost effective and it didn't look uh, neat mm. or it didn't mean anything specifically mm. you know okay. you can understand when an artist has a huge popularity mm. the price of the you know art made by him will, will also be huge like True. it's proportional you know mm. they do not sell uh, mm. their arts you know get sold at a high price uh, when an artist dies there mm. will be no art made by him after that and all the pieces you know made by him will be limited edition uh, this is the you very factor and the very important factor where an art piece gets its value increased day by day years by years and decades by decades and mohan uh, do you think there is such scope for this digital paintings to sell at that high price at this moment actually there's lot more scope you know digital art comes under in the various categories like anime is digital art itself you know true true, Each true. Layer, yeah, anime the cartoons and the commercials and the ga- comics. game develop yeah comics and game development yeah and, agreed and you know assets game assets and all what are the 2d games you're watching you know? yeah they all come under digital art so mm. and right now as manikanta mentioned earlier nfts are a yes. new thing in digital arts uh, similar yeah, to you know, bitcoin I, and stuff yeah bitcoin and yeah, stuff yeah what are nfts bro tell me about it so this nft are non fungible tokens it's a full form uh, stored okay. in bitcoins like you no know, same cryptocurrency type of thing but okay. here uh, we sell our art as nfts on 350 millions you know they paid for one nft of some nba the guy yeah yeah if you don't, yeah so yeah it's not only digital art that are mm. nfts but also any digital stuff or a, uh, that do- dog coin or you know, something yeah, that yeah. picture is there right the picture of that dog uh, looking mm. at us that's also mm. an nft and it's pretty costly also yeah damn yeah i so, i i also heard that some memes are getting into nfts yes yeah. yes yes any any hmm. digital content yeah which you made yeah hmm. it can be in, turned into as an nft so But what yeah. is the process like uh, what happens exactly so you make an digital art you post it online and then what happens so so okay there's this site called some ocean level or something so hmm. uh, you have to create an account and your um, crypto wallet add your crypto wallet and all then if you're a creator you're mm. creating suppose you're creating a stuff and uh, that's created by you no yeah mm. you copyright and you, know, you have the original phd files and all if it's you no know, digital okay. that means you yeah. are the sole owner of it then mm. you upload those and the proof that you own it okay okay then they start auction on it, it it's sim- mm. simple to any normal things on auction you know you mm. just set a minimum amount from mm. that minimum amount uh, the auction will start and mm. other buyers will be there no Mm. they'll buy those stuff it's just pure okay. interest based game you know uh, okay. if you're interested in this stuff and you want to own it okay you are going to buy it so uh. perhaps later when somebody else is using your meme that you have owned yes they might have to pay you to use that meme yes yes is uh, that what is going to happen later yeah uh, 
the next owner who is going to buy yeah. you know, who already yeah, bought yeah, yeah, my that, that person yeah 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 wait okay. let me add something yeah sure yeah uh these non fungible token stuff you know hmm. uh, this thing is actually a very high digitally signatured or authenticated or certified stuff yes hmm. yeah what is hmm. you know these tokens are blockchain uh, hmm. certified or authenticated okay yeah i wanted to ask you like how do you secure your content on yeah. since it is I'll, very easy to copy that yeah i'll answer i'll answer that hmm. uh, what happens is blockchain you know they use blockchain to certify this stuff there's a particular uh, let's say there's a particular and name or uh, or a picture mm. or anything a digital okay. element a digital media mm. can be mm. an nft okay. most probably mm. these animations are you know becoming the digital nfts so what they do is uh, these animations are certified with the nfts mm. first there's okay. only normal raw data the mm. original data it can be anything you know but mm. it must be yours the only problem okay. comes is the originality okay. you know you can just go around and you can claim that this thing is done by you and you can mm. you know make it your nft you know that mm. you know which you have made on your own okay they will mm. just certify this nft and this mm. nft is very limited very very limited mm. there is mm. this thing you know once you create this nft it cannot be replaced it cannot be maybe it can be destroyed i don't know but it cannot be replaced okay can Anybody, it be copied no it cannot be copied nobody can copy this maybe they can you know just a uh, screenshot or do something digitally they cannot sell it okay uh, due to the mm. digital signature or the digital certification they cannot sell it okay okay you you need to have this original files right yeah you need to yeah. have no this you know this nft they'll be having it it's on the server yes yes yeah. the one who took okay. screenshot uh, okay let me give an example it's like you know using a sticker which hmm. was downloaded from chrome okay everybody can use it but you cannot hmm. own it you know you cannot and you own cannot it. you cannot also you earn cannot, money through it yeah you cannot again resell it you cannot make any kind of uh income out of it hmm. so this is the place where the value adds in as okay. mohan said that there there are a lot of nfts which are you know being sold at a very high prices similar to the hmm. conventional art prices uh, okay. yes it is true and the value is also very similar wow yeah wow. that is the reason why these nfts are uh, being sold at a very high prices and there's a, and there's even the problem with the cryptocurrency is that you mm. know they can be they cannot be okay. they cannot be manipulated that easy cryptocurrencies okay. are mined through gpus mm. and stuff uh, yeah that technical stuff is different uh, okay. Okay. so these nfts are powered by ethereum's right now eth hmm. eth I'm is the I'm... currency like you will be using to buy them and the hmm. tokens are limited or the token okay. is only one at okay. a time okay <laughs> that is the reason behind this so even though you do a uh, pencil and charcoal art uh, on paper yeah you still upload it online right you take help of uh, social media to reach uh, to other people yes so how is the you know influence of social media on artists how does it help you before social media hmm. even back then uh, artists hmm. used to you know hold up art galleries they they used to you know uh, publicize you know they use publicity things like uh, yeah uh, what they do is they put posters uh, hmm. it's like you know a new movie release for them when yeah, yeah. the art is published yeah. ah there are a lot of publishers also they'll just okay. go to these art publishers art collectors these collectors what they do is they just you know have their own uh, connectivity like okay. uh, similarly right now we have mm. social media which is 
commission free <laughs> i can say it's very mm-hmm. cheap mm-hmm. and very effective mm. and right now uh, social media you know in social media mm. even the non artist people mm. uh, like the promoters itself what they do okay. is you know they kind of you know steal an artist work without mm. the perm- per- like permission they mm. publish their art on this guy's uh, own account or page okay and they promote it with the promotion okay. they'll have these followers these uh, what you call comments everything that stuff which you mm. know uh, mm-hmm. attracts people more and more okay okay yeah. this stuff is going on which is ridiculous i feel and yeah, yeah. social media is not a very good platform for actual artists who you know mm. want to come up with why is that uh, because you are actually reaching out to many people and probably you are meeting artists other artists and yes. you are comparing your stuff yes, with yes. Other, others yes. and probably learning new things yes. so why do you think it's not good i'm not saying that social media is not good the authenticity yeah. of this publishment of art mm. is mm. where you know the disadvantages come in okay yeah it's like mm. the actual artist is not getting the recognition which he has to get but the middlemen mm. like these promoters they are getting the actual actual recognition mm. yeah it's very possible that somebody like me who is not that interested in art might just not value your art as much as Uh, it should be yes uh, when it when i compare it with somebody who admires art so yeah. much suppose if your art was in some art gallery instead of instagram yeah. you would have probably gotten more uh, good reviews or probably criticism on it yes. that you need uh, more than instagram i believe and yeah. that is uh, i can agree with that point i mean uh, instagram was not built for you no know, artists and stuff right Yeah, it was for the original plan. Yeah, the original plan was not for that. But uh, artists started using it because they see many people and many you uh, know mm-hmm. reach there. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. There's also you know another thing, another site called Art Station. Okay. Yeah, that's more for artists. So okay. if it, there is any serious artist out there who who wants to do some serious stuff and, and mm-hmm. join this as a profession, mm-hmm. they should. post their stuff on art station more mm. than they do on instagram okay yeah and mm. what manikanta said is really true like there are these middlemans who just mm. make an account uh, mm. some art page they just mm. follow all other artists who actually mm. made make the art mm. they uh, they the screen capture it or they repost it i don't know but they <laughs> yeah they just take their photo and they post them and in credits also like many people do add credits hmm. but uh, who cares that right? if you see who a cares, post right? on instagram you just if you like it you just click the like and swipe yeah 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 you won't yeah. go to the description and yeah who is the artist if you are no, if a normal person i mean True. not an artist True. I'm an artist, so whenever I do so do see such things, I go to the mm. description and see the credits and go to that mm. original account. Yeah, and uh, mm. I add that like there. Okay. So mm. many people don't know this stuff. Okay. Yeah. yeah. There, so there's how, nothing yeah. great going. Even if you tag an artist or even if you give the artist the credit. Yes. What a very very you know common surfing guy does is you know he just surfs mm. it. he just you know slides okay. in he never yeah. you know cares to comment he never cares to really like or mm. he never cares who the artist is or blah 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 he just you know looks at it if mm. he gets the i guess a more fair like he'll enjoy it yeah or yeah. else yeah. he'll just get down get out with it but yeah you're literally <laughs> describing me <laughs> no everyone's yeah. like that you yeah yeah uh, whoever non artist no or non artist in any yeah, yeah. but you know i i'm like uh, right now i'm going through your instagram pages so uh, mohan has some 39 posts and man like great work man how beautiful your work thank is you. uh, thank you so I'll, much i'll definitely post both of your uh, work in the video so there is this bahubali one 
uh, man amazing how the lighting and every shadows they are playing with each other and okay and mohan i see here that you have also made a temple in minecraft is like yeah. man amazing yaar how how okay. great detailing uh, you have created okay so first correction is not minecraft it's, it's not uh, minecraft no it's called it's a software called magica voxel so okay. it's this thing okay. called voxel art you know voxel okay. art it, it, you know you understand pixel art right pixel yeah. art is the, the small yeah, yeah, square you can see in yeah. a stream voxel similar is to the, minecraft yeah, right yeah, yeah it voxel looks very the, similar yes yeah three dimensional ah. pixel okay okay the smallest hmm. cube unit you can place that's a voxel hmm. so this is a okay. voxel art you can okay. see two such voxel arts in mine Yeah, hmm. as I said earlier, no, I don't stick to hmm. one thing. I explore hmm. different things, and also at that time I was exploring these. Mohan okay. the explorer. Yeah, <laughs> Mohan the explorer. Explore, learn, create. <laughs> That's why that. And, yeah, yeah, and and I see your recent arts. So I think you are very much inspired by games or you know animes. I can see that theme into them. Uh, the one with. Uh, you haven't captioned it but uh, there is a gate and there is one tiger and snake and something is going yes, towards the, that gate uh, after all yeah after all so it looks so much anime like world bro like yeah that was the idea i mean i i love anime man yeah, yeah i yeah. really love anime yeah. and the, the beautiful you know? paintings they do no the background yeah. artists are they just super yeah. yeah so yeah i i i really get you know so much inspiration okay. from uh anime mm. background right so i tried to make it look mm. like one mm-hmm. yeah so that and was the idea behind the yeah. one yeah and the recent one man today today you posted a picture man amazing it looks like a frame from some video game <laughs> yeah so uh, i started uh, drawing this picture huh. on uh, last week but okay. it, uh, the details were you know, so there are so many details in that that it took me mm. a week the last wow. saturday and sunday and this yeah. saturday oh, three four hours so Damn. there's a yeah. lot and lot of hard work going in the background oh my god exactly true, true, true. yeah you know if you just look at these pictures you know uh, probably if i try them i might i might actually able to copy these pictures but i cannot i can never replicate your ideas i can never you know uh, recreate something which is going on in your mind you know yeah. this one uh, this uh, one picture so this devil within this thing have you copied it somewhere or you have just created it uh, on your own so this devil is no it's like a con- contribution to uh, asta it's a, you know a black clover is an anime yeah yeah so i know that, that guy know. yeah that guy who is black there uh, it yeah. was in that anime scene Hmm. But the devil which you see in that above, right? Yeah, yeah. And the wings coming from, they are not there. So yeah, that's what I I'm talking about. Character inspiration from the black, uh, black clover anime, and yeah, uh, that devil part uh, is my imagination. Like he would cool, do cool. such thing. Yeah. Huh. That's what, bro. I mean, I can actually, uh, you know, look at some characters and try to copy them, but I can never come up with such ideas and. probably that is how you grow when you do art very frequently and uh, you know practice it more you know when you begin as an artist hmm. what you should do is you imitate other okay. artists you no know, cop- copying is different from imitating yeah. you know you what do you do? you see the picture or artwork you see why hmm. is one thing is like that hmm. 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 i mean okay. you study the artwork and you try to recreate in your own style in your nice. own brushes or in your own colors Okay. when you hmm. do a lot of things like that you will get a imaginary library in your brain okay. there are you get hmm. to to take reference for your future artworks you'll have many okay. things in your brain you can pick okay. one thing from this you can pick two things from this. that's how new art new art is being created you know okay. there's nothing 100% new in this world okay yeah hmm. at least 1% is from a, you took reference from you know, one or the other that's how new things are created hmm. Hmm. okay uh Mohan, don't take it personally. I hate to say this, but man, uh, between you two guys, Manish art is my favorite man. No, no, what even Manish art is my favorite too. <laughs> <laughs> man, what he, an art is like. If I look at his well, sketches so and drawings, flattered. He's he's too good. He's too good. Man, the detailings that he 
comes up with how come someone do that man come on with pencil with charcoal i can never imagine somebody somebody drawing uh, a droplet or expressions for that matter you know on the animals bro uh, did you see the monkey's drawing that he made that monkey has some expressions on his face i mean how beautiful is that bro and the and the reflection in the droplets too yeah the way. reflection the uh, one, hairs one that wrong are stroke and it's done you know one yeah. wrong stroke that's exactly. that's and the a, major difference between you know traditional art and uh, digital no. art joker drawing bro amazing i, I love it uh, so how much time did it take for you this uh, drawing which one they're like a probably joker. two like they probably two jokers the, i've drawn Uh, the walking phoenix one recently okay. the joking phoenix okay okay hmm. yeah even that that is my favorite too hmm um i took a whole night okay that's that's four, just a work of whole night that's it four hours i guess four hours yes oh damn you know like let me tell you something there's some work which takes months together like hmm. not literally but you know you'll take a month to complete it In, mm. including the intervals including the art blocks or the procrastination process everything mm. there's some art i take months and there's some art okay. which i take literally like 2 3 hours okay you know some mm. sometimes i feel you know that art you know or the piece i finished it in 3 hours is you know looking way more good than the art that i finished around a month this wow. happens to me a lot <laughs> and you know i self doubt what hmm. the heck is wrong with you man <laughs> <laughs> this thing happens you know this is the one point where i question myself is this hmm. normal okay. I, am i the only one who feels things like this or just because i've spent more time on this did i get bored hmm. looking at that particular piece hmm. you hmm. know questions like this arise in my mind hmm. all time Mm. and now like right now i have a piece that has been incomplete for mm. like 2 months it's been on my easel there wow you no know, it's you know, <laughs> i did not even complete it bab you know it's a phase you know with a very yeah, yeah, yeah. sharp expression like it huh. sees me every time and i feel like uh you know it is wanting you're doing me. it wrong no it it wants me are when will okay. you complete me bab come here come here <laughs> finish me <laughs> oh my god no i i had this doubt you know looking at your work i know that it takes days and sometimes a month or two yeah but when you are constantly working on something and obviously you have to be patient so what do you do to prevent procrastination or what do you do when you you know set a deadline that you know i hmm. have to finish this a drawing within these many days yeah. so what do you do to motivate yourself this this you know this question hmm. is the one which i do not have a very you know pointed answer but i can answer okay i have procrastinations a lot hmm like not many times but you know they are very lengthy i can say hmm, hmm. yeah uh hmm. it is not that i you know have this laziness or i or the lack of interest but okay. it seems to me that uh, my mind has been you know diverted my interest has hmm. been diverted okay i feel sometimes you know i am not showing you know the interest towards this it's not that i do not have the complete interest in this i do have hmm. but you know i hmm. my interest has been diverted it's okay. just that's it uh, okay what i do is you know uh, i try to you know just get on with my basics i'll try to draw okay. circles i try to draw uh, 3d figures i'll try to draw mm. you know the andrew lumis you know this guy this mm. guy helped me a lot there's a book mm. by andrew lumis Okay. This guy, you know, uh, he is my first guru for uh, creative art, like drawing mm. from imagination. This process mm. takes up a lot of time and a lot of imagination power. I can understand. Yes. Yeah, to create something out of nothing, mm. like utter nothing, you don't even have a 
a reference about it so mm. like creating something like that needs a lot mm. of imagination and andrew okay. lomis you know he created some principles he created some uh, figures which mm. helped me a lot what nice. i do in nice. the procrastination is i do that i just jump Good. into a white paper i'll mm. just you know again i'll try to catch with my inner flow you know mm. Mm. that thing mm. pulls me back to the drawing and okay. then i'll get going again mm. i can see here that you have also worked on many portraits so do yes. you uh, do you get approached by people to draw portraits of them <laughs> oh my god <laughs> this one is also very funny okay i get a lot of it you know a tremendous mm. amount of questions mm. like not even questions i can say requests and some orders to orders from the friends and requests from the strangers okay mm. bhai mera ek picture draw karna please main tere friend hu na the classic one <laughs> the very classic one and the very painful one too my god Okay. You know the very work behind a portrait is very mm. big. You can understand, mm. even I if yeah. uh, even if it's a failure or even if it's a very success, there's mm. a lot of work, you know, going behind that. There's a lot mm. of work hours, you know, that have put into a portrait, mm. which you know okay. they cannot see it, right? They just And see also the this pressure, very finished. Right? Amma, the pressure. Oh. There's also pressure to go yeah. to perfectly. Yeah, to, to perfectly draw, perfectly draw them yeah. without any flaws. You know, yeah, exactly. when they find a flaw, <laughs> then you're dead. You <laughs> Even know? if they don't say, we feel like, yeah, I ruined it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. time, you know, this one, you know, the right, like at the time of the request, they'll be like, oh my god, you're the best artist in the world. Oh my god, come yes. on, please draw me one, please. <laughs> You are so good at this one. So can you make please one for me? You can draw it very easy, na. Like you can just you know snap your fingers and bam, yes, the drawing yes, is finished. Uh, <laughs> they'll they'll think me I'm Thanos or what to make something like yeah. that. Eh? Uh, what what is going? On? <laughs> the stuff you know going in my brain I can never express it, express it in front of them. Again they'll be yeah. feeling very very bad. Yeah yeah I can understand. You know once uh, I remember this uh, since. i i know the style of manikanta how he how he likes yeah. to draw and yeah. uh, i once sent him a picture of lion i was like bro this looks like very uh, yeah. you know interesting picture do you want to draw it you can use it as reference uh, reference <laughs> yeah. he was like will you pay me <laughs> <laughs> well you were straight forward <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he was straight for. Obviously, we are friends, so we can say whatever we want. Uh, yeah. So he was like, "Bro, if you are paying me, I'll draw because I don't have that patience to draw everything <laughs> people throw at me." <laughs> But you know, yeah. to draw, you know, something there's a lot of planning going behind. There's a lot of planning yes. going behind. I cannot something, you know, I cannot make something uh, on oh. a piece of paper just like that. Yeah, hmm. you know, first hmm. I have to print this image on my brain. Then I have to, you know, project it on the paper. Okay. Uh, hmm. Because you know, when I start drawing it just like that, hmm. the hand of uh, you know the portrait will be in another paper. The other eye will be you know floating down, floating floating up. Things will happen okay. in you hmm. know these kind of uh, extra detailed portraits. Things will happen. Hmm. Uh, true, even true, I true. cannot, you know, uh, manage to get it right. Sometimes mm-hmm. I just go with the flow, and the flow goes wrong too. Mm-hmm. This happens to me. Mm-hmm. Like, and what do you think? Uh, what do you think is the most challenging uh, drawing that you have done? Of my right drawing. Uh, okay. Which one? Most challenging art that I have made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. the dark horse i can say oh. and and cozy cozy is the monkey drawing these both have you know have been my mm. favorite and okay. my no procrastinating arts too like i okay. did not mm. have any type of procrastinations in between making these two mm. uh the horse one is you know the size of the dark horse 
is mm. a2 no it's bigger than a2 a2 okay. in the sense like uh, 75 cm by 55 cm okay mm. that is the size of drawing mm. and they both are charcoal like all nice. my all my huge drawings are charcoals man okay yeah, like mm. yeah i took around uh 38 hours to complete dark horse and wow. like 12 to 14 hours on cozy mm. yeah cozy was very fun like okay. very 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 fun mm. you know sometimes i believe in miracles also like miracles <laughs> happen while you know mm. making art mm. i feel like mm. i when i draw something you know i feel like you know are when did this part of the drawing happen <laughs> you know unintentionally unintentionally it looks good but mm. the very bad thing is i cannot make it again <laughs> exactly <laughs> okay and man uh, bohan uh, right now you are working so how much time do you think is okay to be given for art you see the more the time it's my real but i'm not <laughs> able to spend more time on it. i really okay. want to i can really the understand time i get on saturday and sunday and that uh, too uh, after all this you know 7 days and 5 days of work you, hmm. you are creative part of brain you know doesn't work <laughs> <laughs> so at least uh, so it's either saturday or sunday not both days in the same week you do you get this end. feeling do you get this feeling that you know some day you are like bro just i'll just uh, fuck everything and i'm going to leave this job and i'll <laughs> survive on my art do you have that kind of confidence in your uh, uh negative negative nada no no no, no. <laughs> you don't uh, think you can survive on your art i don't want to survive on my art i mean i'm good okay. at coding man i'm really good at coding so yeah. why okay. you, know, you know he this, has this a lot of passion to yeah. love okay. you know <laughs> you only go to the love who feeds you <laughs> yeah got it got it and man how does your art affect you mentally like uh, be quick about it you know tell your first ideas like how does it affect you quickly It's peaceful man peaceful yeah. and you bani ganta uh therapeutic i could say okay and now you can explain me why what do you mean by peaceful and uh, your answer bani ganta when i draw my <clears throat> you know my mind has this mm. single point you know mm. my interest is pointing towards only a single point yeah when oh, our whole concentration is on yeah, the piece the, concentra- the yeah. concentration level is at peak okay. i can say hmm. but hmm. i'm not stressing there no stress at all okay yeah okay and you mohan yeah same what manika and i said like uh, we concentrate on the same thing we forget about all our no other problems or other stuff hmm It's yeah, similar to it's like music, of, listening to yeah. music. Yeah, it's yeah. like very therapeutic. Meditation. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You kind of, you know, you feel relieved. All true, the, true, true. you know, stuff that's pushing your brain will sort of, suddenly disappear after the, you know, drawing has finished. Mm. And I'm not saying that, you know, uh, what happens in between uh, if, if the art is not finished. If the yeah. art is not finished, that is a very, very different thing. Mm. Yeah. If you want to enjoy the therapeutic process, do not... engage into mm. huge details i am warning you <laughs> yes yes i completely agree you know when it, it's uh, detailing is a very yeah. long process it but people who are time. looking for therapeutic drawing you can just you know go with the watercolors it's very safe okay hmm. okay and man uh, do you guys express your feelings through your art or you just want to create something visually appealing or you want to just express your thoughts through that art i mean sometimes i do but not mm. not the 100% of my feelings you know there's okay. these things called how how i feel at that moment for example the second one the last second one okay no i was mm. feeling like no i was thinking about after life and stuff what mm. would happen no how would mm-hmm. it be like it is corona times right <laughs> yeah so <laughs> yeah so i want to yes no? uh show the to the world this is what's going on in my mind this is what i'm okay. thinking about it but not in a negative way <laughs> so got it, yeah, got yeah. it yeah yeah good good yeah. and you money uh mm. major part of my charcoal drawings are you know on the mm. wildlife i yeah. Yeah. very much very much love to draw wildlife 
and mm. all my wildlife drawings have a certain expression to I I'm not telling any story they do mm. not mean any story but mm. it's just an expression and the whole theme of the drawing contradicts to uh, a word or a meaning mm. where cozy mm. you know cozy is where the monkey is you know very 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 it's an a huge immense pleasure mm. where it's you know in the hot hot water pond what do you call it hot spring in an yeah, yeah. icy chilling weather mm. yeah mm. how will you feel okay of course yeah, yeah. very comfortable <coughs> dark <coughs> horse you know dark horse it does not show anything but the dark mm. horse is a visual meaning you know it just portrays dark horse means that something which is very powerful and at the very mm. and the same time it's very striking uh, in a mm. snap of a time you know got it yeah, yeah. Mm. something which mm. is very powerful in an instant like torch you can say maybe mm. <laughs> so is there is there a possibility that you know you can lose your ability to draw all of a sudden uh, the possibility of losing a mental breakdown maybe that will probably be, like yeah. <laughs> that will be a nightmare you know Exactly. how it happened to how it happened to spiderman in uh, spiderman 2 <laughs> well uh, there is no drawing sense like spider sense exactly <laughs> you know there will be always a doubt of you know okay. there will be always a doubt of uh, completion and uh, development okay there's this question if i'm not developing am i you know really not working or is my inner guy the one who draws you know in the brain has died mm. you know is it dead okay yeah this question comes to me not very frequently but very rarely mm. uh, no it doesn't like it doesn't it doesn't, not, die. It, it doesn't stop because i had okay. like 2 2 3 years gap in my drawing mm. i i really did not draw in the mm. intermediate i did not draw a lot because of mm. the stuff going around like we already know okay. all the MC, academics and IIT, stuff etc uh, even mm. if you draw you know someone will be looking at you and they'll you know throw a slipper at you that very instant <laughs> because okay. our basic okay. uh, indian education system is like that yeah at that moment of time Mm. there's this fear called not it's not about uh, to be able to draw or what it's about creating okay. new stuff you know yeah, yeah, yeah. art block True. happens when you are not able to create new stuff mm. 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 the physical ability will never go mm. Mm. but the mental I... ability you know, to replicate something or to recreate new things yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, how does your family react how how does your family support you Oh, they praise a lot, man. <laughs> okay, yeah. that's that's great. That's great. And money, how are they towards your drawings? Uh, this answer will be weird, but it is what it is. Hmm. They are very much afraid. Yeah, because you know, looking at my hard work and my hours, like I spend a lot of time drawing. Hmm. Like I myself may be portraying a professional. art is well drawing because i have the very same mindset and the very you know timings like a professional mm. artist do mm. looking at that my parents you know they just get scared what if he you know really wants to get into art because typical indian ideology or mindset would be like arts is stuff which you cannot be you know on forever dependent on yeah, yeah. it doesn't feed you as well as uh, a business or a job yeah, you know yeah. this stuff goes around their mind and it it is what it scares so mm-hmm. that is the answer that's uh, very true when it comes to indian parents man because uh, yeah. they do not they do not want to see their kid struggling to do yeah. anything because we, uh, they have achieved something and they believe that their kids also need to achieve in a similar pattern any anything new anything unique anything uh, which is challenging is scary for them and we can't yeah. blame them but yet yet they support you right yet they appreciate yeah. your art like, but uh, yeah, yeah you know the appreciation is never full <laughs> because hmm. again they'll be feeling like if we appreciate him a lot 
maybe he's, that will be a he's going to go into that direction boost you know yeah that will be a boost yeah. and that will be a go green signal for him to get into art <laughs> yeah they might they might feel that i'm I, i'm not going to blame them okay uh and even after that there's this thing mm. you know they have this mentality that mm. this guy might totally ruin his life running behind the art stuff because they have never seen any artist artists are always you know scarce mm-hmm. they are rare mm-hmm. you do not see their success in their life but i have seen many success stories too which always mm-hmm. you know uh, inspires me and at the same time they alert me like yeah, yeah. showing my place and it's not like True. showing my place but uh, it's a idea or it's a reality that i should know myself too true true, true. yeah do you work for validation or self satisfaction okay so tough one no what if i okay let me yeah. rephrase it what if one day you wake up you post your art and there are no likes and no co- comments on your art how do how would you feel yeah that will be sad man <laughs> <laughs> like not even one like yeah so so they did this gap no in artists you know uh, yeah. i think money posted one meme right that hmm. you do art and hmm. you like others art and there's a gap between that i mean what you like and what you create they are not at same level yes okay you know mm. uh, so these are for artists not for the ones who are following that artist so mm. when you said that you know you not even <laughs> one like <laughs> <laughs> i hope that never happens no <laughs> yeah 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 i yeah. like i like your art don't worry <laughs> yeah i like your art man i'll even share that like, yeah thanks, no but uh, how much uh, validation do you require to feel good about your art i think i validate myself with other artists you know other artworks which okay. i have seen just i mentioned that gap right if you am hmm. think i am you know slightly closer to them hmm. then okay i am on good path okay you know, in terms of sketching or in some sort of drawing in terms of drawing okay hmm. i am on a good path i am better in improving myself okay yeah uh, if any artist you know, comment you know, on my art like not on you know, instagram or hmm. like you know, they say hmm. something about it i take it very in constructive manner So they can okay. learn something from it. So true, yeah, true. that is a very positive way of you know taking an input. Yeah, seriously. And what about you, Mani? Uh, how do how seriously do you take validation? I do get some you know unfair criticism sometimes, uh, and I I don't like judging their mindset. You know, it's like it's a bad thing. I know it's a bad thing. Mm, mm. Uh, I'll just you know. uh look at myself and my previous works i'll just see my stats i'll just see my scale of growth i'll just you know validate myself like that uh where i was then and where i am now is what more important for me than you know uh others uh, some other crappy criticism you know true true, true. yeah but this happens you know sometimes you post something and you are hoping that people would like it Yeah. there is this slight yeah. hope in your uh, heart it that happened people a lot. take it positively and when when it doesn't happen like that you don't get the response that you expected then what do you do yeah, then this happened what i do <laughs> okay yeah, yeah. Huh. there is a piece where i work for like a tremendous amount of time hmm. but i think i never really really got the attention not hmm. attention or like you know the appreciation appreciation yeah Mm. and the you know yeah the reach is like the most important thing for me while i draw mm. or while i post any art stuff on sns or social okay. media and mm. there's this video you know i draw with natural charcoal too a lot you know natural okay. charcoal and the other charcoal like artificial charcoal are two different stuff natural okay. charcoal like you know this thing is like very 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 pro like it's a very professional hmm. stuff okay hmm. to handle natural charcoal you need to get a lot of uh, what do you call that skill hmm. 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 it's like drawing with sand on a glass <laughs> and if some huge blow of air comes it you know poof it's gone yeah yeah uh, okay. isn't there any spray kind of thing yeah. to fix that Not yeah it. if it's complete you know i'll just fix it then and then itself you know <laughs> if yeah. not something or the other will be happening in my home i know it uh, mohan you were telling us something about uh, something happened to you 
you posted something and the response wasn't as expected yeah i mean there's this space you no know, there's some you know, very realistic one the glass ball okay yeah so no, expected cool. yeah, yeah. Uh, you know that would get more reach or more likes hmm. but it didn't i mean my taste <laughs> was different i guess from okay. the others yeah and the piece which i think is not that good oh. it, it got more likes okay <laughs> so, <laughs> to be honest i think i might have skipped that picture thinking it was just some wallpaper or Ayyo. some picture <laughs> I saw it got it now I'm looking at it and it looks so real yeah so so these few are studies i mean taking a reference how the pay, how the you no know, the actual fur works for example that fox thing no yeah yeah we, we artists call them as studies okay. we look at a picture and uh, we try to recreate it as much as possible as realistic as possible yeah okay so that was hmm. the, the lamp and the glass ball and the rain thing and the fox hmm uh, so great, after great. that lamp i thought the glass ball was you know better than the lamp Hmm. Yeah, yeah but, it is it is yeah but as you can see i think it is more less like than the lamp <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah so yeah that's yeah, yeah. Okay. how do you reward yourself after you have done a good oh. job you know yeah. if at least one person says no it's that's good enough. Yeah that's enough man. Yes. No yeah, for yourself you know when you complete an art when you finish drawing what do you do to reward yourself if uh, you're no, happy with that? No, what I believe is my ability to draw hmm. in itself is a reward for me. Oh. I mean wow. I mean I mean I can <laughs> So thoughtful. <laughs> uh, so see the only artists has, I mean um, the painters or the sketchers has this ability to hmm. uh, recreate what uh, they thought in their minds you know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sing, you know, singers can touch hearts and stuff, and okay, I agree. And hmm. but only artist has this feature or you know, this okay. special okay. power. Can, you know, yeah. Show them visually. Show, yeah, show them visually. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway, uh, so I was uh, I was gonna ask you about how original or how unique you have to be to be good at art. Uh, I think originality. is not you know compared to being good or not if okay. you can uh, recreate a piece of work exactly then you are good at art right you are exactly recreating your stuff hmm. but you are hmm. copying hmm. it okay but you are recreate copying in a sense not tracing over it but you are able to draw it exactly then you are good at art hmm. okay uh, if you hmm. uh, if it's about reach or no uh, more uh, authenticity about your art then you should do more original artworks than studies or uh fan arts etc yeah. like yeah. yeah well there is a different kind of uh, criticism where you know many artists get many photorealistic artists get that they draw things and when they compare you know there mm-hmm. be no difference at all and the criticism okay. is that bro why do you do that you can even yeah, it's you know, already there yeah take the photo you can just yeah. print it exactly uh, why do But, you even yeah. draw mm-hmm. stuff exactly same and what is the big deal about it yeah but what people don't understand about these things is the work behind capturing that yeah capturing the details yes. each mm. and every detail mm. that's mm. what make you a better artist i believe in the beginning true 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 do you think you also have to be the seller of your artist if you ever have to sell your piece you have to become a businessman do you think that What a cameo, man! What a cameo! Live. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Nice. Who lives near airport? Me. Yeah. Really? Yeah. He... Nowadays, there's a lot of stuff going with the cargo planes. They're transferring, you know, units of uh, oxygen, blah blah blah. Everything in those yeah, huge yeah. cargoes. Those things, yeah. you know, make a hell of noise. Wow. Okay. Okay. So yeah, back to the question. Uh, so I was asking you. Okay. So do you think do you think uh, you have to be the seller of your art when when you finish a piece and you have to sell it you have to become the yeah salesman do you also do that I mean till now I haven't sold any pictures of mine but okay. if I have to then I must learn those skills as well you know okay. if you yeah uh, since we are known as indie artists right uh, hmm. we are a single man okay. like every okay. artist is a freelance himself yeah. no doubt in that okay are there any labels like they have for music artists are there any companies that are signing artists yes there are okay you know there are a lot of uh, companies or labels or publishers which do collect art you know but there are 
way many clauses for that mm. uh, it's like a contract to you know showcase your art okay but not completely sell it mm. yeah the mm. selling part comes in when there is a buyer you know these guys mm. help you you know do that they are the middlemen uh, doing the stuff you can just mm. you know have your own art gallery online or offline and okay they they will help you that uh, okay. if you are the only guy in your mm. uh, like art studio you can sell mm. your own work you can you know publish the own work mm. what do you do is you can pack it and you know just courier it i did okay. courier like uh, many of those drawings to mm. other states mm. uh, i did okay i did many couriers to the other states compared to my state itself nice nice yeah like that thing was like benchmark mm-hmm. of success so where do you get your inspiration from uh, are there any artists out there who inspire you daily yes there are like, who is yours okay let me tell you uh, first it's jono dry hmm. yeah that guy is like god to me hmm. <laughs> every piece he creates is magic his recreation you know is at peak his details hmm. are the finest i could say and the hmm. second one is uh, miles yeah miles you know this guy creates things that you cannot even think of his thinking capacity is out of the world i say <laughs> yeah nice nice and what about you mohan yeah there are several artists on instagram you know, i follow mm, i really look up to them in terms okay. of their art styles they okay. everyone has their own art style so yeah, yeah. Uh, I, i would like to see myself with a different art style you know future yeah. with my own art style okay and mm. you know you can get inspired from movies anime yeah. uh, yeah. real life nature nature itself is the biggest inspiration true 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 i can see that in your sketches i can see that in your art and even in mani's art he obviously as he said he is so much inspired by wildlife and yeah you can see it in his uh, art as well so yeah. what do you do when you are blank like you have no ideas what do you do then so i think that's what art block means right honey <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> like you are struggling to imagine something or okay. uh, you know create something that like really never happened because i plan my you know drawings beforehand like i keep a ledger of uh, things you know i just mark things in my notes or i just mark them okay yeah i'll get these random ideas at random places at random times you know what i do mm. is i'll just write them down in notes mm. in my mobile phone yeah. or on a piece of paper or something i'll just save them mm. if there's nothing on the mind i'll just go check them out like that cool, is cool. like yeah yeah i do the same thing you know notes thing you know? yeah okay yeah if you have not any current idea on your mind just go back to the notes <laughs> it's like you know saving a game yeah you cannot yeah. play the whole gta game in one day so what do you do you just save it yeah yeah at checkpoint yeah. yes yes i'm very particular about you know people having these apps in their phones you know if you are having a smartphone please have a notes app have a calendar app have a task app yeah task they're built in no, they are built in right no, many of they are built in but they don't use it bro they some yeah, people okay. they don't even know how to use it because for me they are so frequent i i cannot uh, go through my day without checking them out yeah seriously <laughs> and uh, do you still learn new things you know from others art no, i love it uh, yeah, learning is like no it's a continuous thing it's an endless yeah, thing it's a constant process yeah okay. so your first preference would be learning online from somebody else's art or you just go through some youtube videos the first preference you know mine is very different i learn by experiment uh, yeah okay uh, i just get inspired from you know a different stroke or a very unique mm. uh, process some artists do Mm. I'll not imitate them. Like it's not you know uh, a thing for me. But uh, I try to not imitate them. I'll just create my own uh, technique mm. of my like myself to you know help me with that. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But learning is always constant. Yes, mm-hmm. I do every day. When you come across other people's art, 
what do you think do you feel insecure about your art if it is inferior to them or you take it positively and and try to uh, get inspired from their art what i want to say is when somebody is playing cricket and i am also in that same team but i feel insecure because that guy is de- doing so much better than me and there is less chance of me being in that team because he is very good at it yeah so since there is no a definite limit in the art sector but still you have that ladder you have that hierarchy in the art also that somebody is better than you how do you feel when you look at other people's art and that is like better than yours the ground truth here is hmm. someone is better than other you know? huh <laughs> yeah. at least there will be one guy who is better than you or mm. he But the other guy will be better than him. The reality so, kicks in. Yeah, the reality kicks in, you know. <laughs> you, should, mm. you should praise the other's art but not compare in uh, in terms of like, you know, how much uh, bad I am but okay. how much good he is. Good. You get mm. my point. So, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. I generally look up to them. You know, these kind of people. Yeah, I have made it right. I have made it right. That feeling has to be. Okay. That okay. become, yeah. like this is the mm. fact man art you know art like i like i said art is not a race true so anyway uh, i think we have reached the end of our discussion and it was amazing man thanks for coming and thanks for doing this thanks, thanks for, for inviting having man. us yeah. how how did you feel how did you have fun well yes. this you know well uh, well this is a first time experience i'm having with a podcast and hmm. i feel you know very happy that i have made one for myself like for everyone hmm. and it's my friend who is making it so i'm like <laughs> way more happy and you know i hope i hope you you know reach a higher reach out there just like you yeah. man just like you uh, even i'm not doing for doing it for others i'm yeah. also learning it and uh, while in this process i want to reach to you know other people who do not have access to uh, friends like you you know my friends are amazing everybody is doing something yeah. and i want to talk to them i want to know what, how they are doing it what is the uh, idea behind everything and i want to share the knowledge with uh, you know with the audience anybody can listen to this podcast and you know learn so many new things like i did today from you both yeah i think you have this unique idea she Yeah, I never heard of such thing. So I hope, and I wish you know, we get a lot of success in this. Hope I hope. <laughs> yeah, our yeah, you know, our friend circle, you know, it's vast. We have friends yeah. with many different talents, you know. True. Particularly true. our circle, we have singers, dancers, uh, mimicry artists, uh, what not artists. Yeah. dramas yeah harshan you know these uh, like theatrical dramas or uh, real life dramas yeah <laughs> the best yeah i i appreciate a lot uh, thank you for joining me on this podcast and uh, i hope we'll again meet someday uh, on the and talk, talk on some other topics uh, definitely in future uh, thanks for coming again and uh, great talking to you guys Thank you for inviting us again. Um, same to you. <laughs> yeah, man. Thank you. Okay. Thank okay. you all. Be safe. Be safe. All the best. And yeah. Bye. Yeah. yeah. Bye.